Good day, everyone. So you guys voted and seem to want me to turn this into bronze. So we're going to get started on making the mold. Now, just to tell you how amazing the internet is, I just got off of a video chat with a guy named Dave over in Ireland. He's got a lot more experience with making molds than I do, and he walked me through the whole process. So I'm going to do my best to make a skin mold with a plaster backer. It's a technique I haven't done yet, but it's the right technique for this. First thing I'm going to do, I need a bigger board for the base. Seems to be stuck on there a bit harder than I thought. I put the head on a bigger board and put this clay dam around it. I'm going to paint a thin coat of silicone rubber all over it and that's going to run down into all these crevices, all these little grooves, and it's going to pull up on the bottom. The dam is going to catch it. Ah oh, geez, I almost forgot the most important part. So I started putting all the silicone on there and I realized I forgot to vent the beak. If I don't vent, if I don't vent, if I don't vent the beak, I'll never get wax to it. So I have to put a vent from the beak to the base. So when I pour wax, air will get in the way. Air will get out. I'm just going to put a piece of sprue wax on it right on the tip of the beak. So here I'm just taking a piece of clay and pushing a bolt in there to make impressions. This is making a tray for me to pour rubber into so I can make keys later on. So I put two coats of thin silicone rubber over that. Now it's time to put the thickener on. Now for thickener, I got this Carbosil fumed silica. Looks like it causes cancer. That causes cancer for sure. I'm gonna wear a mask. So now remember these keys that we just made. I'm gonna put those on the silicone while it's still wet so those will act as little locking keys for the plaster. So the rubber is cured. Some of my keys slid around a little bit but I think that'll still be okay. I think there's a thick enough layer on there. I hope so. We're gonna go with it and we're gonna add our plaster backer now and then test it. So it got a little thick on the bottom there, it trimmed off all this waste. So I probably should have had the thickener thicker than I had it. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down in the clay, cover one side, and pour the plaster over it. I think I could like smear plaster on the mold, but I kind of feel like that's going to lead to more troubleshooting, whereas if I just lay it down, pour the plaster over it. I'm guessing it's going to be easier in the long run.
So it slipped in the box I made, but I think it's... Let's see if we can separate this and actually have a mold. The bottom here, I'm gonna chisel all that plaster away because it's really in the way. I should have left it on the board when I did this, but I thought the board was too big. Anyway, we'll take that out. Hopefully it'll be better. There we go, I think that'll work. So the last thing we gotta do is we gotta cut this thing off. I'm gonna see if I can get away with one seam along the back. So I'm attempting a zigzag cut, which will help it lock in place when I put it back together. But I'm also trying to weave the blade left and right so it adds additional angles so it helps it lock back in place. That's another tip from Dave from Ireland. He has a new YouTube channel, so I'll put a link to his channel in the description if you want to see some of his videos. Okay, so we've got our sculpture still in 100% condition and we have a mold. So now instead of using about $100 worth of rubber, I have about $20 worth of rubber and about $4 of plaster. Let's go test it. Uh, but first I'm going to soak my plaster in water. That'll keep the wax from sticking to it. So the inside's coated with wax. Let's see how the pull is. It's still a little bit tight around the beak, so I may make the cut a bit bigger, or I'll just learn to finesse it off next time a bit better. Well, that turned out pretty good too. Look at that. It worked. So there's one problem tip of the beak came off when I pulled it out. I think I'll be able to just attach that, blend it in, not a big deal, and I'll just be more careful in the next pulls. So we got the original, and we got a wax copy. So there we go, my first successful skin mold. Things I do different, it's, it's a lot thicker than it needs to be, so I wouldn't use as much next time. I don't think I would have detached it from the board, this, this extra lip doesn't need to be there and I could have avoided that but it still works I hope you enjoyed watching me make that I'm not a master I'm still figuring a lot of this out but I have fun doing that we're gonna go ahead and turn this into bronze so if you want to see that hit that subscribe button we do sculpting metal casting different fun stuff like that anyway thanks for watching see you next time bye bye